Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel for an um, update here on Adero Clean Technologies. 2024 for me has proven to be um, uh, a very interesting time for Adero, especially the first half here in monitoring this company and monitoring the uh, the time that they have necessary to put into their multiple initiatives. Uh, I have been uh, void of putting out content uh, weekly um, for the sheer reason that I want to make sure that when I believe is inevitable, when these uh, major events for Aduro are going to um, are are going to transpire, is yet to be determined. But I want to be uh, right there and ready. Uh, to provide uh, those uh, forward-facing announcements through the channel when they do happen. And I believe that Aduro has been fairly close to the vest in 2024, and that's totally fine. What have I been doing about it? For you guys that tune in to the Independent Investor channel, over the last couple of years, Aduro Clean Technologies has doubled in value, and nobody is talking about it. Nobody. What is an investor like me doing? My original position goal in this company was 25,000 shares. I now sit at 87,500 shares, and I do have intention to continue to increase my position. Why? Why is that? What has happened over the last couple of years that would strengthen my conviction from when I first took a look at this company? And these are the questions that you need to ask. Um, if you're relying on the Independent Investor Channel to dive headfirst into this chemistry and explain or sell you on the idea that they have the best chemistry out there, which I believe that they do based on my independent research, uh, then you're missing your own responsibility to seek out the information directly from a Duro Aduro Clean Tech does a great job of walking you through the chemistry and why it makes sense and, and, and why it is so important to deploy a strategy that is uh, not only highly effective, but economically efficient for these large companies. And it also speaks to the reason why we are in our current situation, that we are in now tackling a plastic problem that was to see our landfills and our oceans riddled with plastic, and that has been commonplace for um, many, many decades now. And we are just trying to get a handle on this. Companies like Aduro are looking to quickly uh, move their technology through the rigor and paces of what they're what they're trying to prove out. In ultimately getting to that um, pre-commercial and commercial state that I believe is an inevitable milestone. Now, I just recently had Mariusz Gonochnia on my live stream. It was a great interview. If you did not catch that, I will link that in the description and the comment section below so you can kick over and see the cross dialogue between myself and Mariusz on where we think the company is now um, to acknowledge where they've been uh, and more importantly try to um, try to forecast what may materialize over the next coming months uh, and the coming short couple of years let's just put a cap on it of 24 months because I think until based on projections that Aduro has in 2026, starting that ramp up and break even of uh, pre-commercial customer uh, engagements, uh, collaborations, whatever they'll be able to garner over the next couple of years. That's going to be really the key evolution in garnering all of the learnings. Uh, in bringing on new talent to the company to help get them to that ultimate ramp up of the company where they actually start licensing their technology uh, or actually providing some of their pre-commercial units as, uh, as a template, uh, physical templates to put into rigor and, and, and showcase this technology as it was intended to be showcased. But the real 
reason for me putting out this video. I'm going to be out of pocket the next couple of weeks. And I think we are waiting with bated breath on some news on the company. I don't know what it could be. I have some ideas. I'll mention those today. But if I am unavailable to put that information out real time, uh, I will take that for action when I get back in a couple of weeks. No problem. Um, this company has been one that I have insisted um, has uh, deserved a long position. Uh, I'm continually adding shares and I'm continually monitoring the landscape. But in 2024, I believe that they've been diligently pursuing uh, all of the different avenues that they've got. They are busy in their customer engagement program. And I'll mention the six multi-billion dollar and multinational companies that they currently have in the fold at present in the customer engagement program. Uh, my friends, this is an ability to showcase the technology firsthand into interested for interested parties that are looking to take the Aduro Clean Technologies technology and put it into work in their own operations. I don't know if all of them will sign up. I don't know. Um, if we can get one or two, um, maybe more, I don't know. Uh, we don't want to be presumptuous with um, how uh, Aduro is going about um, putting forward uh, their best information so that these companies can make an informed decision about which direction they go. But it's going to be exciting as this unfolds. It is my assessment that to even bring these companies to the table is a net positive for the company. Now, to solidify this relationship is going to be key, and it's going to be a bullish catalyst, in my opinion, in the stock now, myself and Mariush talked a little bit about Catalyst on the live stream from this week. Um, he seems to think that the stock will move for no apparent reason. Uh, I'm in agreement with this. Okay, The idea that Aduro has been progressing to this point with positive news releases um, is worth noting. And I do believe that to continue uh, in some relative fashion going forward. I believe we are going to reach milestones. I believe we are going to further develop the uh, idea of taking new and interested parties um, in the uh, dossier of customers that Aduro has and moving them along the food chain of really bringing them in under the Aduro Clean Technologies envelope um, as a customer or a collaborator in this particular uh, thing. But it is hard for me to wrap my mind around all of the outstanding activities that Aduro currently has right now in the landscape. I mentioned the six collaborators, uh, but with the Shell Game Changer program in stage four of six uh, and how well received that was in the industry when that news was initially broke, uh, Aduro's acceptance into the program, then I would believe that any positive remarks that come out of that, whether it be small, medium, or uh, of huge magnitude, um, and there's a potential for anything along that spectrum to be announced, that that won't be a catalyst for uh, the company to move. I think Mariusz's point was a good one. Is it going to be such that we release the news and then the stock just incrementally re-rates the next day? No. That's probably not going to happen. You have to understand that the stock market in any stock, whether it be a large cap company uh, in the major exchanges or in the micro cap space, uh, as Aduro is on the quality board, is looking to always forecast where things could potentially go. So when we're looking at a stock price here sitting just around a dollar, the company is always going through an evaluation in understanding where its value is in the future, not at present. And I always put that market around six to 12 months. 
So you have to look at it from that lens and understand that the company that you're evaluating now is holding strong based on, yes, past fundamentals, but more importantly, where we project the company to go into the future. And that is a key, key element in understanding a, a week that we've just gone through with digression, with warrants rolling off uh, and the company kind of kind of gradually falling back. There was no news uh, that justified that 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 uh, uh, stock digression. Uh, I just took, look, looked at it as an opportunity to continue to uh, add to my position, and that's exactly what I did. Okay, we added ten thousand more shares just this week. Um, I only share that for transparency on the channel. It is not a charge for you to go out and buy stock, but I think it furthers the discussion in understanding how important. Um, our approaches to this. Historically, the micro cap space has been a treasure trove of people coming into the space and thinking that they are just going to achieve overnight wealth by picking a stock and doing this. And after a month that it doesn't work out or it goes down 10, 20, 50%, they're out never to invest again. That is typically the activity in the microcap space, driven and exacerbated in a lot of cases by companies that don't uh, deserve one breath of attention at all. And we discussed on the live stream the fact that Aduro doesn't even belong on this exchange. It does deserve a major exchange, and the very fact that it does sit on a minor exchange right now only provides that opportunity for uh, would-be shareholders um, to solidify their base in the company. My rationale for buying the stock is based on the following attributes that I'm going to disclose to you now, as I do feel like we as retail investors do not have the luxury of time on our hands with this company. Um, when and if it happens, I will report out on it but I will not be able to take you back in time to a Duro $1. I'm not going to be able to do that. As we speak now, a Duro calmly sits at a dollar, having silently doubled uh, in its current exchange with the current activity and the current um, gin of retail activity surrounding the stock. And I think people are slowly and methodically taking their positions. What is the catalyst that will move that activity? Well, it's buying activity, right? When the stock goes up, everybody will say, see, I told you so, and they'll be jumping on the bandwagon, and here we go, Aduro to the moon, and Aduro's doing this. The real fundamental application in this that is extremely rare is the fact that we are plucking Aduro out of a sea of red, as that opportunity that is worth looking at from a fundamental perspective and actually taking a long position in. I don't care how long this thing takes. It can take two years. It can take five years for all I care, okay? As long as Aduro is showing, like they have, progress toward an end. And that end for me is that break even in earning that revenue. They're earning small revenue from the customer engagement program. But before these companies are collaborators and we can start to really report out on progress uh, with regard to the details of each of these relationships with each of these multinationals, um, then it's speculative on our part and it does, doesn't do us any good. We don't even know the names of these companies um, that they're collaborating with and we'll get those in time. Uh, the results of those should be forthcoming. But my reason for reporting out today to you guys and understanding that I am independently uh, gaining shares in the company. Now, I do want to mention um, I, I am uh, very bullish on Aduro Clean Technologies. Um, I, I am uh, affiliated with Aduro in the capacity that I'm paid for my content uh, through YouTube. Those disclaimers are provided in the description below for you guys to peruse. So please understand that um, I am paid to get the word out on Aduro. 
Uh, and I, I think the number one reason why we are where we are over the last couple of years in a doubling situation is to be because people have become more aware of this name in the marketplace and can more readily access it in that sea of red um, as maybe a potential diamond in the rough. And to bring that to um, the few share owners that uh, make our way make their way into a social media forum like this, um, you know, they're lucky to at least have the opportunity to take a look at it. All right. But those full share buys um, and descriptions and times of buys uh, are also provided in the description so you can understand how I've accumulated my current share base. Uh, and you can make your own independent decisions uh, based on that. Whether or not you think that the message is biased, that's your opinion. Whether or not you think I have an agenda, um, that's your opinion as well. But those full disclaimers are there for you to either act upon uh, or not act upon based on your own independent decisions uh, surrounding Aduro Clean Technologies, okay? But I mentioned the six multi-billion uh, companies and, and multinational reach of the company. Um, I'm slowly accumulating shares based on my thesis that the company has significantly de-risked uh, its approach to bringing new uh, customers into the fold and their obvious ability and track record to attract new customers and bring them into the fold. Um, they've all obviously proven that out. Okay. I do believe that with all of the solid momentum and the way that the stars are aligning for Aduro, that we will inevitably bring on a catalyst or, or two, which should be in the form of uh, a collaborator. Once the collaborator is uh, announced, we can actually understand why. We can understand how those collaborators and Aduro are going to put this technology to work to what? to benefit the businesses, which Eric Appleman has talked so elegantly about the importance of making sure that we're not just coming up with the greatest technology that the world has ever seen, but how we can augment with businesses on the grassroots level, right? In the trenches with these companies to augment the technology to meet the customer demands. And that is the true value and understanding um, the the dynamic of the t this technology and how it can uh, really be tailored to fit those customer needs. And I presume that those deliberations are happening through um, the customer engagement program currently uh, at play with Aduro. Uh, the Shell Game Changer program at stage four of six, uh, currently in the contaminated plastic phase um, this is, uh, if not a bullish reason for someone to buy the stock, uh, it is for me. Absolutely. Uh, I believe that their engagement with Shell, um, this isn't uh, uh, Mike's submarine station down, down the road. This isn't uh, um, a, a small mom and pop oil company. This is one of the largest oil companies in the world. And to date, we have uh, an understanding that uh, Shell and Aduro have been enjoying each other's company uh, through four of six stages. I expect that to continue, and I expect news to be forthcoming on that. Um, the expiration of warrants only provided me the opportunity to enter into the stock uh, sub $1. You'll see my entrances at 0.97 US and 0.98 respectively. Uh, I felt that was a good entrance. I'm willing to buy the stock anywhere sub $1. I'm a little less apt to buy the stock when it jumps over a dollar because any positive news tends to move the stock upwards and we get a little bit of slow drift north. I feel like that's a, um, that was a good opportunity for me and I took advantage of it. Um, but we are approaching catalysts over the next couple of years. Whether or not those jive or sink with the stock price, to Mariusha's point, probably will not. Okay. But if you're bullish on the company, why? Why are you bullish on the company? And do you feel like there's undervaluement now to be enjoyed down the line when a potential inevitable re rating uh, occurs because the market realizes those positive catalysts 
uh, in the company and finally gives that due credit for the company. Okay. But I think to discuss what I think is <clears throat> the most logical in approaching those catalysts, I'll name a couple and then I'll leave you with a comment that we received on the live stream that stuck with me a little bit um, and, and can kind of bring this home for you guys. Uh, but the signing of collaborators was something that Ofer felt comfortable disclosing uh, as a potential goal. Uh, for the end of 2023, I think the color that could come from that could be uh, incrementally positive for the company and, and give that that tailwind of assurance that uh, Aduro is meeting their goals in how they are approaching customers, but also bringing them into the fold to put the technology to work. The Shell announcement I, I mentioned. And finally, I'll I'll leave you with this. Aduro Clean Technologies, as it sits now, uh, 70 million US, is significantly undervalued when con compared to peers. If you buy into the philosophy of getting in before the hype or buying at the ground level or buying an undiscovered company, um, you are doing all of the above with Aduro and then some. The way that this company has come to public markets has provided the very opportunity for us to look at. And I think with the stock slowly drifting north, there there has been nothing that has just accelerated the stock um, to jolt it higher, to just get people's attention and and bring them in the fold forcefully, um, has also provided reasons for people to doubt the company. OK, uh, to look at it and say that it's too good to be true or there is so much competition out there that Aduro won't find its place. I, I will say this. You're entitled to your opinion. OK, it is my thesis to understand that at some point Aduro has to re-rate and it has to come up to some level of acknowledged value with the network of what they do, the value of their technology. Um, the patent protection that they have, uh, and the idea that they've got three verticals to work along with deploying this uh, chemistry. Now, I will mention that I believe that multiple uh, SKUs in how they deploy the strategy will be developed over time, and we're going to be talking about a significant uh, amount of, of of applications for the technology. And I think that's very exciting, and I expect those also to be forthcoming. But I'll leave you with this. The comment that I received on the live stream, there was an adamant commenter, um, and I, I didn't want to break up the dialogue between my, myself and Mariush, but the commenter said, look, <clears throat> this company can still fail. And unfortunately, I talk along the lines of, of a bullish investor for people to give the impression that somehow this company uh, can still fail. I want to give you my twist on this. Uh, any company can fail. Um, the the very fact that uh, some of our larger companies that have been around for a hundred years have not failed probably beg the question to suggest that those companies will not fail based on track record. Uh, furthermore, I would suggest this: um, at any time, um, I could expire, <laughs> art stop working. Um, get into an accident, uh, fall on hard times. Um, life is not a certainty. And I will double down and suggest that stock market investing is far from a certainty uh, in any activity that you could ever engage in, okay? You engage in a sport. You're going to have a clear winner and a clear loser, all right? Stock market investing requires a deliberate approach, one that I think that if deployed correctly, puts a little bit more of an emphasis of the odds on your side because you have been able to be privy to information, put that information to work, and then look at a potential position size that makes sense for you, right? Does the person who buys 100 shares of a Duro take on more or less risk than somebody like myself who buys 87,500 shares? Does the risk equate, right? Uh, 
In my eyes, it's an absolute no. So when you make a blank blanket statement that this company could fail, right? The magnitude of loss on the 875 is significantly greater than the size of the loss of the 100 share position. Further, the position of the people who have millions of shares or multi millions of shares, the CEO himself who owns 40% of the company, right? Or 40% of the company is actually tied up in the upper end of the company. Uh, Ofer's share position is around 20% actually, I think, of outstanding shares. But do they take on the same level of risk? And I think that's what's missed by a blanket statement like that, that this company could fail. I would come over to the top and say, you can control the amount of involvement that you have with regard to the risk based on the conviction that you have. And if you misalign your conviction with your share size, in other words, if you're skittish about this opportunity and you go buy 50,000 shares of it, chances are you're going to get shaken out of this position anyway. So either work on the conviction or work on the share price and the share structure that you have to better align with what it is that you want out of this activity. And my friends, I'll leave you with this. There's always not buying the stock, okay? You're not forced to do anything. You're at free will to be an independent investor as you see fit. Nobody is telling you to go buy the stock, myself included. What I'm doing is providing a reason as to why I'm buying the stock. And the cool thing that adds credence to this message is the fact that this is very, very real. This is very, very real money. And it's a very, very real position for you to come in, monitor, understand where I'm coming from, maybe garner a little bit of consensus across the Aduro Clean Technologies uh, pool in who's doing what. I just gave you some ideas of where some of the upper management lies with their alliances and make the best strategic decision that you can for yourself. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to the message. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video. Very, very important to understand that ginning up conversation when there's not a lot of information on the landscape is key here. Because when that re-rating happens, my friends, I will be monitoring calmly with my same demeanor while it's going on, but I cannot go back and provide you the opportunity twice. Subscribe to the channel, guys. If you enjoy the message, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video, and good luck in your investment future.